Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com again here in northwestern Ohio, kind of in the uh, Putnam County, uh, Hancock County area. And we're in a field of Austrian winter peas and, and uh, radishes. Again, these happen to be the groundhog radish. One thing I want you to observe on the radishes, look, they're not headed out. And uh, that's one reason why we want to go with a variety like groundhog. There's some other varieties on the market as well that are, that uh, are important. The idea is to not use VNS, uh, which stands for variety not stated, but oftentimes stands for uh, very nasty stuff. What we're looking at here is we're looking at Austrian winter peas, and um, I don't know what we're going to find here, but I know that the pea itself is not an impressive looking plant, especially this one. Some years these will get up about knee high or in that range, and um, but this year with the lack of moisture we've had, we really don't have much of a uh, uh, growth on top of the uh, field. You see how hard this ground is. Uh, I think we found uh, about four inches deep is where we found the hard pan. So our radishes, we looked at it in an earlier video, were going through that and it appeared that our peas were too. So we're going to see what we have here for this little pea plant. We're always amazed, it seems, or at least I am usually amazed when I pull out a pea plant that there's a lot more below the surface going on than what we're seeing on top. And I hit resistance just, just in that uh, 10 inch, eight or 10 inch range. All right, Let's see what we got here. Well, got a lot of root, more than what I've dug up so far. It's always good to have a fiberglass handle on your spade especially in a year so it's dry like this we're able to figure out what we're going to get here got some radishes around it you know these aren't those big honking radishes like we've seen in other photos i'm out here with greg freddy from uh, the cisco companies and greg's helping me today as we're up in his sales territory look at all the roots here going on for with uh, all of the biology happening in here with these radishes. Again, I kind of broke that off, but you know, we're at least five, six inches deep there. Those radishes are actually got some nice root in them. All right, see what we have here from the pea side. Well, a lot. Here's a clod full of roots from the peas that I'd broken off. Got some real good soil biology happening here. One thing to know is if you see a little what you think is mold in the soil, uh, that's a good thing. That's showing there's a lot of fungi and bacteria and uh, growing, a lot of mycorrhizal activity. There's my hard spot. Here we are coming through the hard spot right here. And you probably can't get this up real good on the on the video, but there's a lot of fine hair roots on these peas. Now again, we're about four inches into the soil when we hit our really hard spot and we've got roots coming right on through that. Uh, we know our radishes were going through that because we've got, got radish roots that are down through this level and our peas are giving us a significant amount of, of rooting. They're very, very fibrous root. Here we go with our nodulation going on here. Nice two beautiful nodules right here at my fingertip. And um, so even though it doesn't look impressive on the top, that doesn't mean that it's not impressive of what's going on in the soil. Our goal being is to have living roots in the soil for as many months out of the year as possible. Uh, this was a wheat field, it would have been typically just sitting empty for, uh, well, let's see, July till next, uh, till next April. So almost nine months of no living good biology going on in the soil. And yet with these peas, with the radishes, we're able to uh, have some very, very good activity going on. So this maybe isn't as branched as what we see at certain times, but we've also know I left a lot of roots in the soil. Um, but again, we're getting down into and through that plow pen, and that's a, while that doesn't look totally impressive, 
what I've left in the soil and pulled off of here certainly has been. So again, Dave Robinson, plantcovercrops.com, looking at Austrian winter peas.